Welcome back, players. I'm Jack with 36 Cancel, and this right here is Coco the Wise Cat. Now, she can't stay on the table for long because today, what we have for you is something I've been waiting a long time for. I will not lie to you, players. I am hyper than I've been in a long time. This is Gurren Logan, the Wise Set. And as you can see, I might be a big fan of Gurren Logan. I might be a huge fan of Gurren Logan. I won't lie. So, without further ado, I want to get into this. What we've got here are eight boxes and two trial decks, and we're going to open all of them right here, right now. So, get ready, players. This is going to be a long and intense journey, and I've got a really good feeling about this. So, we're going to start with the trial decks, and while we get these open, we'll talk a little bit about Gurren Logan itself. Now, Gurren Logan. I lost my train of thought there for a second because I'm so hype here. In fact, I'm just going to stop talking. Let's look at what we have in our first trial deck here. So it comes with the SR combined Gerd Log, and it's got its own Climax combo here. And let's take that off. And the main thing we're looking for here is an SP Yoko. Now it comes with an SR Yoko here. It's level 2. And since this is a trial deck plus, it also comes with two of the level 0 Yokos we want from this set. And they are super good. Get two in each trial deck instead of one in each trial deck like it used to be. So, very ready to see what's going on. You can get SPs in these. I don't think this one has it. Nope, no SP in here. But these are... the level zeros from the trial deck that we want. Just separate those out. It's really cool. God, I won't lie, I can barely hold myself together here. So, that's what we want out of the first trial deck. Let's check the second trial deck here. These are really nicely packed. They didn't actually use to do this foam that they have down there. Now, I haven't opened too many trial decks in my life, but these feel like they've opened cleaner than the ones. Go, go, knock it off. Come on. Shoot. Anyway, then the ones that I previously opened. Maybe it's just because I'm opening Karen Log, and who knows? All right, come on, get out of here. Okay, got our SR Gurren Logan, SR Service Girl Yoko. Just looking at some of the trial deck cards here. These are really cool. There's our other combined Gurren Logan. Okay, I don't think we've got an SP in here either. No, no SP. That's all right. We only had two trial decks. The chance of getting an SP in a trial deck is pretty low. Just going through these. Got our logons. I have to separate those out because I do want those for my deck. Okay. There's two trial decks over there. Take our stacks here, as you can see, we've already got our play set. Uh, the Yoko Runner, very necessary for the main deck of Gurren Logan. It's a great level zero. It's a non-mill runner. You don't actually need to mill any cards to move her to any position at the center stage that's open. So first box, let's go in. Carefully here. So Gurren Logan actually has SSPs in the set, and there aren't too many white sets that actually have SSPs. Gurren Logan is one of them. So it could be that you could get an SP and an SR triple rare in a box to my knowledge, or even an SSP in the same box as a triple rare. And I believe SSP is one per case. So I have half a case here, so I have a 50% chance of getting what the heck? A 
Bang Dream promo. I have a chance of getting a Bang Dream promo. We're just going to get that out of there. Because <laughs> that's not what we want. It's not what we want either. This is the Yoga promo. It still looks great. I'm not in this for, you know, getting exactly what I want out of these boxes. But, man, it's exciting. <laughs> okay. Let's just keep going here. First pack. First Gurren Login pack. Separate out commons, non commons, and the rares and triple rares, etc. God, the art from the show. You know, even though it's just using a lot of screenshots, it still looks great. Okay, first rare. It's mocking. It's really not the best thing to open up. I've got an Ocker and Login here. I want to set that aside because that's part of the Tengen Tapa deck that we're building eventually. Let's set those cards aside here. And put the commons over there. For now, I mean, this stack is going to grow significantly. In fact, we'll just move that here. Stack is going to grow significantly as we go on. I'll we'll just throw our trash there for now. Because I've never actually opened... Oh, man. This doesn't want to come open. I've never actually opened eight boxes at once before. This is the most I've actually opened. Set aside these blue anti-spiral cards. Because... They're pretty necessary for us for the Mugen deck. You can run as many anti spiral cards as you want in those. Hey, Unexpected Kiss Yoko. She's our double rare brainstormer for yellow. She is a great card. Tattoo brainstormer. And plus 500 to the center middle can't be chosen. So it's rare, double rare. And Bureau's Climax. Yeah, Bureau. You know how it is. There. Well, not a bad start. I have high hopes for these boxes. Rare Nia. Messenger Nita, she's the level zero climax combo for the anti spiral deck. And just like that side. Just like, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Titan. Titan has Blue Titan, of course. And there are almost no Titan characters outside of Blue. Most of the Titan enemy characters are Blue. But none of the core is Blue. None of, you know, the guard is Blue. So it's an exclusive color for that deck and for that for that um, type of card. And Anti-Spiral is the same way in Gurren Wagen, where everything else... Come on. Come on, cat. Can't be doing that. Where anti spiral is blue, but nothing else really is. It's its own faction, it's its own little deck. Which I can't wait to build an experiment with. In fact, somebody played it at my locals today. It was really cool. Okay, we've got the Tangan Top of Grand Log and Double R. This is the finisher for the Mecha deck. This is the 3 3 2 Soul with the Climax combo, and this card splits off into so many other cards when you actually perform it, but it does have to be the only card on your stage. Coco is just really loving this today, I'll tell you what. She's gotta go. Come on. So far, pretty good double wear hits in this box. Two more to go, no foil yet. Yeah, Tang and Topic during the login is Great. Love the flavor and how it follows it. Okay. Rare Lord and Spiral Genome. Well, Spiral King Lord Genome, not Anti Spiral Lord Genome. That'd be kind of funny. New teacher, Yamoko Sensei. Oh, Yoko's cards in this set are funny. Another Mugen here. You can run as many of these in the blue ant spire deck as you want. Again, kind of what makes it famous. Got regular Gurren Plogin here. It's a climax combo for the red deck. Got two events here actually, which are famous in the set Giga Drill Break and Core Drill, which you can run 
in the meta deck, both of them, because they just are so good. I mean, this is a, an event brainstormer, and this is a deal four, which, you know, what can you say? They're just really good events, so we'll keep them aside. My, my, my narration is really lacking in this video. <laughs> my goodness. Just can't keep my head on straight while I'm opening Garen Login Packs. I guess it's to be expected. Okay, so in this box, we actually got two yellow double rares, which is interesting. So this is Spire Power, Titan's Climax combo. Got the Kumugan. Blue Anti Spiral card, set that aside. Also goes in the Anti Spiral deck. Makiton is an interesting one, not nearly as bad as some people say he is. I actually like this card a lot. Well, I did. What am I gonna do with you, Cat? What am I gonna do with you? As long as you stay there, you can stay on the table. Don't know shiny in this box. Okay. Got Liron here. It's a level assister. Pitch a level assister. When he comes into play, you can salvage the pitch. And we've got two more blue anti spiral cards here. Uh, the climax combo with the Nia and the level zero anti spiral uncommon. Set those aside. Keep moving on. Would have loved to put some Garen Log and music to this, but man, that stuff is copyright protected like nobody's business. Okay, SR King Katan. Kind of disappointing, but whatever. Not what I wanted in terms of the SR slot. But still looks pretty cool. Again, I'm not really in this for, you know, the value in the boxes. You know when you're buying, you know, eight Weiss boxes, you're not looking to make your money back. You're just looking to open packs. And I'm definitely looking to open packs. Titan SR, though. It's layered, and these SRs are actually textured in Garen Logan. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. I move it toward you guys here. Yeah. You can kind of see what's going on. Put that up here. And after each box, we'll just do a quick box recap of what we got. So we've got two yellow double R's and a yellow SR in this box, which is pretty interesting. This is the Kyo Mugen 2-1 and the Advanced Class Mugen, which is your level 1. Um, it gets a marker for the level 0 Mugen when it comes into play and becomes a 107k, which is pretty good. Got Galaxy Garen Lockheed's Leader Simon. And a 3-2 Backup Death Spiral Machine again for the Blue Anti Spiral deck. This one's interesting. 3-2, two, choose two of your opponent's characters not in battle, exchange them as stand, so you can actually put a level 3 in their back row and bring something from their back row up, kind of mess up any combos they might have. Pretty cool card, if you ask me. It's definitely worth the price of being a 3-2 event against a lot of decks. Imagine doing that to a last shot scene on that hasn't attacked yet. And that's just so brutal. Okay, got Rare Lazingan. Uh, talking about the colors a little bit, um, we've already talked about how blue is the anti-spiral almost exclusively. Green is the Beastman faction, including Lord Gino himself. Um, no other characters in Team Diagurin or in the politics section are green. Um, yellow, you have Yoko here, and Kamina, and a lot of the other Team Diagurin people. And in red, you have most of the mecha pilots, not including Viral. so you have um, Gimme his sister, and of course, Seaman. By Seaman, I mean Simon, not Viral, who pronounces it like that. And red is actually the color of the Spiral Mecha. So you can see you've got the grab rolls here. Just a 003k, but it's there for flavor. So the Mecha deck, which will run this double rare, is usually just red, with splash for some of the good level zeros. So 
can see here is Gimme, he's red. Anti Spiral blue. Green, Beastmen faction. Got Adrian the Elegant over here. We've got Super Galaxy Diguren. As you can see, red mechas. Yellow team Gurren. Red mecha pilots plus Buta. Buta is also actually red. Because I guess, you know, if you really want to get technical, Boot is also a pilot. <laughs> You're a little close, Coco. I need you to back off a bit. There you go. Just have a seat. Be patient. We'll get your attention. Unfortunately, you're not the one in the spotlight for this video. This video is all about Gurren Logan. Lord Genome's head. Can't move to another position on the stage because he's just ahead. Red York King Katan. Now, I forgot to mention this when I pulled the other King Katan SR. He is actually the card that this double rare Katan, you shouldn't be under these other rares, changes into if the damage that he would deal is cancelled. So he's kind of like uh, the Anastasia from Idolmaster. He's also kind of like uh, Crimson's Fighting Spirit Aaron from Titan, but the damage does have to be cancelled for him to change into that level zero with the climax combo. Of course, it's that one. What else did you expect? It's hard to see the camera here. Yeah, so this is Spiral Power. So this is Spiral Power, huh? It's really quite something. <laughs> Something like that. Log an impact, that side. Level three beastman who's green. And the ridiculous card title for this level zero 2K. Human Eradication Forces, Far East Theater Commander Viral. Yeah, try saying that three times fast. I don't know why they named this card that. There's some really weird translation choices in Gurren Logan, actually. Enough about that. You'll see them as we go on. For now, I just want to keep opening packs because that's really what this is all about. Okay. See here, stay 105k with some boosts. Later, buddy. Need communas. So, no chance pulling a Kamina in this box because I've already gotten two yellow double rares. Kamina is the bread and butter level one for the meta deck. Or at least what you would think is the meta deck. Ooh. Got a triple R, so this is Spiral Power. Not one that I'm going to be running, but really cool pull. I mean, this box is really Keton centered. Got that. Blue cards over here where they belong. So in this box, we've got a triple R and an SR, which is pretty good. And the double wear spirit has been pretty good as well. Definitely a strong start. Now, blue and spiral over there. Got Kid and Iraq. Yeah, Iraq. Level zero that actually lets you trigger twice if you pay. Don't believe there's too much else like that in English that does that in the moment. Could be part of some interesting combos. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Got the login aside there. The 3-0 event, there's a lot of big events in Gurren Login, which is not surprising because of the flavor of the show. And this is green, 3-0 event. And it does a lot of stuff. The number of characters, well, number of cards in your clock is four or more. You can choose two Team Diger and characters in your hand. Put them in the waiting room if you do. Perform the following effects once each in any order. Choose a level three character, and that character gets minus three soul till end of turn. Choose a card named Giga Dope Break in your waiting room or turn it to your hand. And put up to two cards in the top of your deck into your stock. Almost like the cryptic command of Weiss here, but, you know, I don't know who gets that reference. 
Double Boomerang Spiral, great red double R to pull. So we've got two red double R's in this box as well as two yellow double R's. Very weird. But that's our double R and SR spread. This is actually the last pack of the box. So first box here, nothing too spectacular, but pretty good spread overall. See what's in our last pack here. Got Cyberman of the Swift and the Antispiral Blue Climax. These aside. Yeah, so we've got a level one, level three that goes in the Meta Mecha deck. The Katan and the Brainstorm Yoko. It's our double rares. Oops, lost focus there for a second. There we go. SR and Triple Air the set, both Ketan centered, so this is Spiral Power and the King Ketan level zero. And this is our spread of rares. Pretty varied here, heavy lenience toward green and yellow. Um, didn't pull any of the blue rares except for one Nia, I think. Where is she? Where is she? I thought I pulled the blue Nia in this box. Oh, there she is. She's just on the bottom. Yeah, hiding down there. Okay. Not bad, to say in the business. Players, we have seven boxes to go. Can you believe that? I just opened one of these things. I'm pumped. I want to keep going. Let's just jump in. Put these rares over here. Close the promo. Next box. Now, it is unfortunate that Bushi Road short printed this set. If you didn't know, they did not print too much of it. And most stores, including my local game store, sold out as soon as they filled their pre-orders and just kind of sold the initial boom that people came in and bought since the set was released. More Bang Dream promos in my Garen Login box. Get this shit out of here. What's our promo? Perennial Pledge Nia, level zero. Now, I'm not a big fan of Nia, but this card is pretty, pretty nice. Let's put that with our Yoko over here. Open the first pack of our second box. I'm a Yoko guy, not afraid to admit it. Really hoping if I do pull something big, it will be a Yoko. Very good start. Got the double rare yellow Kamina. We definitely need four of him for any good yellow deck or deck with yellow in it. Climax combos with later, buddy. And he grabs cards for you and goes to memory. Which is pretty good, because your opponent cannot get reverse combos off on this card. This opens kind of strange. That's weird, I've never seen a pack do that before. Got Art Gurren here. Ooh, that's a great Triple R Climax to pull. On my back and in my heart. Climax combos with a level 3 Simon finisher in the set. Man. Some heavy foiling, too. That is cool. The Triple R places rare in the box, if I recall correctly. Just to make sure here. Yeah. This one here. Go, go, stay there. You are just too focused on getting into my stuff today. Well, it's not too much unlike any other day, it's just that any other day I'd let her. So you can see in the video, she is just on top of me most of the time. Now we've got Unlimited Universal Diablo Grand Obama. Another strange translation choice, but it's a cool card. He's got a climax combo that allows you to top check your opponent's deck for a lot of cards. So they have much less chance of canceling. And he's a regular rare, so we'll put him over there. And he is the finisher in the blue deck. If you didn't realize that already. Here's later, buddy, the climax combo with Kamina.
So while we've pulled nothing spectacular so far, we are doing very well. He is just a very good conventional spread of cards. Team Dagger and Flag, cool event. Just search two, pitch one, cost for one stock. Got Strong Little Sun, single rare, and Humanity Eradication System as our climax. Oh, I thought I felt something in here. Feel something. What am I feeling? That's the question. It's feeling like Coco is really enjoying these boxes. <laughs> Come on, girl. Okay, I wasn't feeling too much in this, but we do have Zerathi Rare. And for the sake of the precious children, Yoko. It's our climax. Death's a spiral machine. Come on, girl. Just move a little bit to the left. You'll be fine. The pack mountain is growing. Always something I enjoy seeing. We've got long card named Vero here. Goes in a lot of decks because he's good. More is there to say about him? God, I love that climax. This is um, the climax for Tengen Top Gurren Logan's final combo. It shows the final battle, the show. And I'm glad they did not make this arch exclusive to Triple R because this is wonderful. Forget just off the top of my head what the Triple R art is. Hopefully, we'll find out. Hopefully. Got a Mugen here. Got a King Kitan, my back and my heart. Wonder how a green and red deck would look. Gotta wonder. Never considered that when I thought about building my decks. Super Galaxy Digeron. Log and Impact, another card is set aside. Core Drill and Giga Dorbake, cards set aside. And Yoko, our resident level zero stock bomb. Lots of level zero Yokos. They're all good and they're all played. See if I'm complaining. Jimugan. Got his foul on coming, Lost and Gone. Didn't talk about what Lost and Gone did yet, I don't think. You actually put um, Lord Genome, the level 3, under him as a marker when he comes out. And if he's got a marker under him, I believe, you can Claw Kick. Oh no, it's actually just reveal a top card, so it's like that old. Uh, memories that were fun, Yuki. If he's got the marker, he just gets plus 1500 power. Not a bad finisher, all things considered. But you're probably running both him and the level 3 Lord Genome. So it does jam pack your level 3 a little bit. Let's put one Diagner and Simon. <laughs> Combining Gear and Login. I wonder if that's the theme of the green red deck, just Simon and Viral. With a splash of Lord Genome for your finishers. Mugen. Mugen. More Mugen. And a Mokin. Mugen and Mokin. Moving on. Realize this is kind of in the way. Sorry about that. Really wanted to make sure I captured everything in the shot so the camera angle is not one that I'm used to. So forgive me if it looks a little different and not 
as put together as some of my other stuff. Though my other stuff isn't put together that much, so who am I kidding? <laughs> Messenger, there you go. Another level zero climax combo. Need for her for the Mugen deck that we're making. Spiral King Lord Geno. It's the card that Lazingan needs as a marker. Changes at the beginning of the climax phase for free and it heals. So the entire combo is a heal clock kicker. It puts itself under the marker. Not bad. Interesting finishing combo. Definitely gives green something unique. Got Gernlog in here. Need one of them. Hmm. Not pulled. Yeah, not many double R's yet. We are really getting down to the wire. We've only pulled one double R out of this box. Not complaining about which double R we pulled, but come on. Complaining that the cat is in my stuff again. She just won't stay out. Come on. Shoo, 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 shoo. Not on the mats. There we go. Just a little bit back. Yeah, we are really getting down to the wire here, and unless I've missed something, which I don't think I have. Yeah, there should be three double R's. And what is it, four packs left? Man, imagine cracking this box at a store and going through and only finding rares up until this point. I guess we found these two, but it'd still be a very strange box to watch unfold. Login and patch. Set that aside. Two on rare. Liron. Savage level assist. Three packs. One double rare in the box. Let's see what we've got in here. Moving. Okay, unexpected kiss Yoko. Great pool. Got two of those now. Definitely something that's not optional. Yeah, I swear. So two packs left should be two double rares in here. It's a Mugen in here. Beastman Viral. The double rare level zero. Is a clock switcher. And a pay one pitch one salvage on stick. Really good combined abilities for a level zero card that really ups the ante. Oh, I'm sorry, we have two packs left in here. Silly me. So one of these could still be a single rare. Let's see what we've got. Hey, here's our first Simon finisher. Team Dalgarian's leader, Simon. Comes in, heals. And he's got the ability that when he reverses his opponent, when his climax combo, this one, is in the climax zone, he last shots your opponent. So deals four damage. And that's on reverse. But he also has the ability to pay one. And during the turn, you know, during the period when he comes out between attacking, it's an act ability. You can put this Kamina under him as a marker from it being in memory, this card gets plus two five and can't be backed up against. So that happens before the climax phase, which means he actually gets to be a base 11k if you pay an extra one, and he can't be backed up against, which is pretty handy considering he needs to reverse his opponent for the climax combo to go off. All in all, not a bad finisher. And it's one of the only last shots that in fact, I think the only last shot, in fact, in English, that combos with a red climax and his red period. Let's see what's in our last pack here. Let's see what's in our last pack here! We have the regular SP Yoko. Not the SSP, regular SP. Who is complaining? The last pack, legendary SP. Man, that looks great. Woo! 
Two boxes in. That's what we got. This is one of the Emboldened Tech's new SPs. They kind of did away with the outline of the text box. They made it a lot more transparent. And look at that signature. Yoko with a little skull at the end. So cute. Any SP I was going to pull, it'll be this one. You know what, cat? Fine. I just pulled an SP. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. You can, you can have a little attention, even though you are in the completely wrong place at the moment. But I'm going to need you to move now so I can pack up and we can look at the spoils of this box. Excuse you. Ah, I don't have a sleeve on me. It's a big mistake. So barbaric, no sleeve. So here is our spread for the second box. Pretty dang impressive if I do say so myself. Double rares here, all very good pulls. Got the triple rare on my back and in my heart climax. Got the SP Yoko. Fire box, without a doubt. Rare spread. And put those here. Put them over here. Our spoils pile. Nothing in this box. Move right along. 